Howdy. How's everybody out there in YouTube land today? I hope it finds you well. I hope you're not stoned in. I hope <laughs> that spring is actually coming where you are. This is hysterical. I'll tell you what. I hibernated all day yesterday. Um, we had uh, six inches of snow on the ground and it drifted. And my world has just been hibernation. Um, uh, thankfully, I have vittles enough that I can last for a while in here, and I have no intention of going out until it thaws. Uh, going to the mailbox and back is the furthest as I'm going to go. Lord, have mercy. Uh, <laughs> so, I, I just uh, list a whole load of stuff on uh, Etsy during the day yesterday. That was uh, that was pretty much how I spent my day, that and sleeping. And um, now I'm back to crafting. And I thought what I would do is uh, work on this bookmark some more. I showed you how I actually cut the leather with a utility knife. I put some uh, raffia on the end of it. Uh, you could put some beads on that if you wanted to or charms or whatever. Um, I frayed it out real good so that uh, it would be fringy on the end. So you see, it's just, I mean, raffia is a straw grass is what it is. And uh, they process it and it's pretty um stiff coming out of the package so i just uh, took a pair of scissors and run them over the edge of the back of the scissors see so scissors are closed up and i just took the the back of the scissors and just combed it out with my thumb on top of it and scissors underneath it until it softened up give it a nice soft look rather than that uh, bushy look that it had when it came out of the package and I've got some metallic Gordmaster paint out that I'm going to uh, paint these flowers with. What I did uh, is I went ahead and engraved these flowers into the, the leather. Um, there's a lot of different ways you could do this. You could use the uh, stampers uh, with the mallet and stamp designs into it. This is just so much quicker and easier. And, and I think it's very pretty when I get done with it. So I just uh, put one of my peel and stick designs on there. And I engraved it out and then I peeled the paper off of it and it's ready to rock and roll as far as paint is concerned. I picked out two pretty colors of this paint. One is an ocean mist blue and the other is called emerald frost green that I'll be putting on this. Once we get it painted, then I'll hit it with the blow dryer and make sure it's good and dry. And then we're going to put a protecting wax sealer on it that is also a Gord Master product. So we're going to start with the blue and I've got the micro brushes, these, uh, the, the paints, all the Gord Master products and the micro brushes I get from a place called Wel Welburn Gord Farm. And uh, they're not a sponsor. Uh, I just love their products and I use their products and I promote them because I think that everybody should experience how great this stuff is. Now, I took the lid off the bottle and I'm stirring this up real good. Make sure that it's, that it's mixed well. I'm going to give me a paper towel up here too because I know I'm going to need that. We just mix it up real good. Make sure that it's all blended well. And I'll wipe the handle of that off back to the bottle some. And I'll take my paper towel and wipe off my, my brush. You see, that paint, <laughs> it puts the color to it right there. Now, we'll get the drop of paint here on the brush. And these are little tiny designs that don't take much paint. And I just dab it to the to the design. Any place that's a little thick, I just grab a little paint off of that to keep going here. Don't need to keep dipping in the bottle if you got plenty on the design. And I'll come right down to the next flower and start putting it in there. This goes really quick. Just get to the edge of your design. But yeah, there's all different kinds of ways that people tool leather. I happen to love my engraver. Um, I can do a lot of different things with that engraver. But I love this paint so good that 
it's hard for me just to do a whole lot of tooling on something when I can just put the design in and put a real pretty coat of paint on it. You know, like I say, if you got too much paint on one spot, you just pull it off of there and spread it around. See, now I dipped it in the paint one time and I painted three flowers. I might get four out of it. Or I got to get any more paint. Pretty metallic paint. Now I'm going to have to dip again. All right. So get another drop of paint on there. I wipe most of it back off on the side of the jar. The lip of the jar. Just keep going with it. Probably hear my canaries in the background. They're over here squawking this morning. Once we get these blue flowers done then we'll go in and get the green and put it on the leaves pretty little blue flowered vine okay I'll wipe the brush off real good here on the paper towel get all the paint out of it Move that off to the side, put the lid back on my jar, and put that back in the paint holder up there. I'll shake up this green. I'll still have to stir it, but we start that way. Well, it may not. It looks like it's in pretty good shape there. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, ten little leaves and way too much paint on the brush. So I'll knock a little of that off of there. Okay, that's the last leaf getting painted right there. And that's looking real good to me. I'll put the camera down here so maybe you can get a little better view of it. I wish the resolution on this camera was a little bit better. You could see how shiny that is with that metallic paint. It's not showing up on my screen as pretty as it is just to look at it with the naked eye. There we've got that. Now I'm going to blast this with the, the heat gun just a minute here and make sure that I got that paint good and dry so it don't go to smearing when we try to add the wax. 
So let me grab the gun. Just add a little heat. Don't take much to dry it. There's really not that much paint on there. I mean, you saw I used like what, maybe, maybe total of four drops of paint, if that. Yeah, make sure that I'm not getting any paint coming off. Nope, no paint coming off. All right. And I'm even going to, for good measure, take a paper towel and press down on there and make sure that it is dry. I don't want any paint coming off on the paper towel. See, it's getting dry. No paint. All right. Now, this is protecting wax made by Gord Master. It is waterproof. Let me get, I'll, I'll read this to you. I've talked about this before. I love this stuff. Um, and where is it here? Yeah, it says uh, creates water repellent barrier, resists cracking and chipping, replaces many coats of furniture polish. So if you're using it on wood, you know, you wouldn't have to use furniture polish. But uh, I'm just going to take a makeup wedge and just get a little bit of wax on that makeup wedge. And then I'm going to start rubbing it into the leather. And you can see the leather changes colors when you put the wax on there. It darkens it up. But when it dries, when this wax dries, it goes back to the natural color. And you got a nice protective seal on this. So it'll protect the paint. Years of being handled and, you know, bookmarks, they tend to get tossed around and people handle them all the time. Getting their the oils from their skin all over them, and this will protect your paint finish. Now, turn it around to the dry side and just kind of buff it out. And there it is. There it is, all pretty and shiny and looking nice. That's how easy that is. In the description of the video, all my links are on there that uh, tells you about my Patreon, tells you about uh, my Etsy store. I put a lot of stuff on Etsy yesterday. There's. Um, my Twitch channel, my Instagram, my uh, Twitter, all kinds of things on there. My email address, if you need to email me about anything, it's on there. And uh, I think that's all I needed to tell you about. I don't know. I'm, with this snowstorm, I'm kind of feeling like I'm leaving something out, but I don't think I am. I believe there's only one thing left to say, and that's Brenda's crafty. Be like Brenda. <laughs>